हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर योगेश पावडे आई वेलकम यू टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन इन जेनेटिक्स एंड मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज अंडर दिस कॉम्पिटेंसी बी आई सेवन पॉइंट टू वी हैव सो फार कवर डी एन ए रेप्लीकेशन डी एन ए रिपेयर वी हैव कवर ट्रांसक्रिप्शन एंड पोस्ट ट्रांसक्रिप्शनल मॉडिफिकेशन ऑल्सो बट बिफोर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ट्रांसलेशन मेकेनिजम्स वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू ऑफ द कंसेप्ट विच विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड ट्रांसलेशन इन बेटर वे so first of all we'll go for genetic code and its characteristics for deciphering the genetic code nirenberg was awarded the nobel prize in 1968 so let us understand what is genetic code the determination of all sequence of bases in codon was carried out by dr hergovin khurana marshall nirenberg and philip leder so they determined the sequences of bases in codon but later experiments by francis crick s brenner and others fully uncovered the meaning of 64 codons of the genetic code coming to the definitions related to genetic code we know that an amino acid is coded by a group of three bases that is called as codon so the codon is a triplet or a set of three bases okay so this u u u or u u c will be the codon which will code for phenylalanine now what is genetic code there are there are 64 combinations of codons okay and these 64 codons are arranged in the form of this table and this table in which 64 codons are arranged is called as genetic code and this genetic code will be a unique code for a given species of organism so this is a genetic code of human being and there are 31 trna species which carry 20 amino acids which translate 61 codons so 31 trna species and 61 codons are going to synthesize 20 amino acids the codon aug codes for methionine and that is the start codon so far as protein biosynthesis in human is considered okay so aug codes for methionine it is a start codon and next thing is these three codons which are also known as top codons or termination codons or nonsense codons so uaa uag and uga these are the three stop codons among this among this 64 possible codons so one is start codon and there are three stop codons so actually only 61 codons are coding for amino acids so coming to the characteristics of genetic code first characteristic is unambiguity in a given codon it designates only one single amino acid so one amino acid a given codon designates only one single specific amino acid and it does not incorporate any unspecified amino acid into the peptide chain so if there is if this if the particular codon is there it is going to synthesize that specific amino acid which it is entitled to code although the codons are degenerate we'll understand what degeneracy is though the codons are degenerate they are unambiguous or they do not have any doubtful meaning if u u u is there it is going to synthesize phenylalanine only okay so that is very clear and it is unambiguous and it has a very clear role in protein biosynthesis and one codon stands only for amino acid that is the property of genetic code which is known as unambiguity next property is universality the genetic code is universal in all the living organisms the genetic code is nearly the same there might be few exceptions a few codons which are coding for different amino acid but overall genetic code in all the living organisms is the same this phenomenon is called as universality of the code the exception which we have discussed is found to be in mitochondrial genome where aua codes for methionine and other cells of eukaryotes you see that aug codes for methionine here aua codes for methionine in case of mitochondrial genome 
and UGA is coding for tryptophan in mitochondrial genome. Otherwise, UGA is a termination codon in normal cells of eukaryotes. So, mitochondrial genome and cell genome are different. The AGA and AGG are genine in normal conditions. But in mitochondria, they, they are the termination codons. So, the genetic code has been highly preserved during the evolution. Next characteristic of genetic code is collinearity of the gene and the product. The product of the gene is a protein specified by the base sequence present in mRNA. So, there is a collinearity and that is proved by a high resolution genetic mapping technique and it is established that there is a linear correspondence in base sequence in gene and amino acid sequence in protein. The information in gene and the information being translated into protein are collinear. Then the next property is non-overlapping nature of genetic code. All codons are independent sets of three bases and there is no overlapping that is no base functions as a uh, common member of two consecutive codons. So, after a set of three nucleotide, there will be another set of three nucleotide. There is no overlapping or there is no common base between the two codons. The codons are consecutive. Therefore, the starting point is extremely important because the codons are read one after the other in a continuous manner. So, if any of the nucleotide is deleted or any added nucleotide is inserted into the sequence, it will completely change the codons. After the point of mutation, a complete sequence will be changed, okay, because there is no overlapping. Next property is commonlessness or there is no punctuation. The codons are arranged in a continuous structure that we have seen there is no comma, there is no overlapping. There is not one or more nucleotides between the consecutive codons. There is no common nucleotide between the two codons. And the last nucleotide of preceding codon is immediately followed by the first nucleotide of succeeding new codon. And there is no comma, no overlapping. Then next important point or the characteristic of genetic code is degeneracy. There are 61 codons representing 20 amino acids. Every amino acid except methionine is represented by several codons. Codons that represent same amino acid are called as synonyms. So, here in this figure, if you see there are four codons coding for valine GUU, GUC, GUA, and GUG. These all four codons code for valine and these are synonyms. The codons that represent same amino acid are called as synonyms. And codons are uh, seen to be clustered in groups representing a single amino acid. And here the base of the third position is insignificant. So, doesn't matter. After G, U, there is U, C, A or G. The reduced specificity of the last position is known as the third base degeneracy that is also called as wobbling phenomenon. They minimize the effect of mutations. Because they produce a similar amino acid, even after changes in the base of third at the third position, the same amino acid is going to be synthesized and this minimizes the effect of mutations. It increases the probability that single random base change will result in no amino acid substitution or in one involving amino acids of similar character. Let us understand what is verbal phenomenon in detail. The, there is a flexibility in base pairing between the three prime nucleotide in the codon and the codon is present on mRNA. Codon is present on mRNA and there is flexibility in the third nucleotide in the codon that is three prime end of the codon. This is 5 prime end, this is 3 prime end of the codon which is present on mRNA. So, here U, U, U or U, U, C, both the codons are going to code for phenylalanine. Okay. So, whether U 
is there or C is there at the three prime end of the codon doesn't matter. They are going to synthesize phenylalanine only. This G, which is present at the five prime end of the tRNA anticodon, if there is C at three prime end of the mRNA codon, it can pair with G that we can understand. But if there is U at the three prime end of the mRNA codon, it is still pairing with G because there is flexibility in base pairing between the 3 prime nucleotide in the codon and 5 prime nucleotide in the anticodon. This is the wobbling phenomenon. The combination of normal base pairing at the first two positions of a codon with wobble at the third position actually clarifies why multiple codons for a single amino acid are usually there. Then let us understand the wobble rule. In the 5 prime end of the anticodon, if there is G, it can pair with U or C at the 3 prime end of the codon. So 5 prime end of the anticodon and these are the 3 prime end of the codon. 5 prime end, if G is present at the 5 prime end of codon, it can pair with U or C. If there is C, it will only pair with G. If there is inosine I at 5 prime end of anticodon, it can pair with U, C and A. Nucleotide present at 5, 5 prime end of anticodon is chemically modified. It increases the flexibility in base pairing with 3 prime end of codon. Because we know in tRNA, the chances and the possibilities of chemical modification of bases is very high. Almost 12% of the bases in tRNA are chemically modified. And why this chemical modification is there, you can understand here, even with slightest chemical modification of the uridine, it is increasing the flexibility of pairing with most of the nucleotides at 3 prime end of codon. It is 5 methyl uridine, it pairs with G. If it is 5 methyl 2 thiouridine, it pairs with A and G. If it is 5-oxyuridine, it pairs with all four nucleotides A, G, U and C. If it is cited in chemically modified, it pairs with A. So these chemical modifications are actually increasing the flexibility. The important aspect of wobble is the chemical modification at the 5 prime end of anticodon. These are the chemically modified nucleotides at 5 prime end of the anticodon. The wobble bases are modified by specific enzymes that act on tRNA and modified the nucleotide base at 5 prime end of the anticodon. See, codon is not getting modified or chemically modified. It is the anticodon which is getting chemically modified. Here you can see the uridine is chemically modified to 5-methyl, 5-methylene uridine, 2-thiouridine and 5-oxyuridine that we have discussed in previous slide. Here, the adenosine is modified to inosine, cytidine is modified to lysidine. Okay, so these are the chemical modifications of nucleotides at 5 prime end of anticodon. This is the literature which you can refer for further reading. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you all have subscribed to the channel. If you are not, please subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications in future for all upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Keep watching, keep learning and keep motivating.